Tonight, Louisville locals calling for action in the Free Cuba movement. Dozens speaking out at what organizers called a human rights walk, first in the Highlands and later in Shively. Isaiah Kim Martinez was there. Isaiah, what can you tell us about that tonight? Well, Shay, SOS Cuba advocates told me it's plain and simple. They believe this is a human rights issue, and that's one they believe the U.S. government must intervene to help stop. And for many, that mission today involved reaching people beyond just the Latinx community. A symbol of pride and an outcry for help. Libertad, libertad, libertad. To all of them, I say, libertad, keep fighting, we're here for you. With an American flag draped over his shoulders and a Cuban flag in hand, 16-year-old Fabian sees both perspectives. I came here from Cuba when I was only six years old. We came here because there's no progress in Cuba. You can't. You can't aspire to be someone big because the government, it, it holds you down. So does Angel Verona, who's actually from Peru. Regardless, standing in unity with those protesting down south. Today is Cuba, but tomorrow can be any of us. We don't know. Sunday, Louisville locals marched down Bardstown Road. Hours later, supporters circled a cultural icon at Shively Park. Two locations in one day, praying for an end to Cuba's decades-long communist regime. Many say this goes beyond U.S. economic restrictions, instead putting a focus on human rights, pushing U.S. leaders to respond with more humanitarian aid. Cuban Americans that want to go and help, want to go and bring food, want to go and bring uh, medicine. To make it happen, advocates want more voices and more support even outside the Latinx realm. It's not about any color, no religion, no even a country. As I mentioned before, this is about the human rights. Other demographics too, including young people. They believe a combination can make a difference. And we're not going to give up until something changes. In the next step, several of the people you see here will lead a caravan to the nation's capital. To go there on Sunday, we should be there for about three days. Hoping to push another symbol of urgency. And the Cuban American Association of Kentucky says they expect a few buses full of people next weekend to travel to Washington, D.C. They've reserved them ahead of time. Organizers tell me they're expecting a turnout of about 70 people at this time. Shay. All right, Isaiah, thank you so much.